to deep left center field, and Morno puts it into the bullpen. I heard you say that you'd rather be known as a good baseball player than be known as a good Canadian baseball player. You just moved into second place behind Larry Walker for all-time hits as a Canadian. Would it mean more to you when you get done playing if you finish ahead of Larry in hits and homers and RBIs and all that kind of stuff, or do you not really try and compare yourself to other, other players? When I was in high school, you know, you're on the other side of the world to me. You know, you're in British Columbia, you're drafted and signed by the Minnesota Twins. He's out of British Columbia, plays for the Colorado Rockies, which is completely on the other side of the world to me. I know the Jays, you know the Yankees. So I didn't know how good of a player you were or how good of a player he was. But I've always thought about who I wanted to be like, and I looked up to Todd Helton, you know, a left-handed hitting first baseman, and Barry Bonds, Manny Ramirez. I looked up to those guys, you know, the marquee stars of the game as an 18-year-old, as a 16-year-old, as a 20-year-old minor leaguer. That's hit a long way, high and deep to right. We'll see you later. When I got done playing, I looked back and I thought, I had so much information by the end of my career, and there's so many things I wanted to know. I think sometimes it was just so much easier when I was younger to just go up there and swing as hard as I could. For sure. Do you sometimes think you wish you could go back to that first or second year player and say, hey, these are the things you should know? Or do you think it would be more beneficial for you to simplify things sometimes? Is it? I think the, the, I think the answer would prob probably be yeah. I mean, I think I'd be a much better player with the knowledge and experience that I have right now. And more than anything, I think all of the mistakes and the wasted pitches and the wasted decisions that were a part of a, a young player's game, yeah, it would have been nice to have had a few tidbits then that I have now, yeah. Instead of repeating, it saves you from, you, may, you still probably will make the mistake, you just won't repeat that mistake, I think is what that, what that experience does for you in the end. Really and the game feels slower. Uh, you panic much less. Uh, you, I find that you get in your way far, far less. You know what to work on, which direction ahead, and you also, I think, know when you're close and, and you're far less. I find that I chase results far, far, far less. Tomato in the air, right center. That's way back there. I know you're an on-base percentage guy, OPS, that kind of thing. Do you still see value in batting average oh, and home yeah. runs and RBIs, or is it? Oh yeah, no doubt about it. It's all—it's it's the complete package. I just think, I think what today's, you know, the ability to evaluate players and have less of a bias. I think in the past there was the RBI bias and the home run bias. Well, what if he plays in a small stadium? Or what if he has guys on base in front of him all the time sort of thing. What I care about the most, to be honest with you, is games played. That's the thing I think about the most. Because if you play a lot, it means the manager is basically saying you're a good enough player that in any situation against any pitcher, night game, day game, no matter what, I want you on the field because I trust you to run the bases, to play quality defense, and obviously take a good at bat. I know that it's a very crude stat, but to me, I, I appreciate games played. Joe Maurer, similar type player. Is he one of the guys that you watch his at bats? And if you're watching the pitcher, you're doing your scouting reports. Do you go to him, or who are the guys that you like to watch? It's funny you bring that up because we were talking about looking up to players. And when I was in high school, to kind of think I had a chance, I would watch the scouting bureau videos. I don't know if you've ever seen them before, but Major League Baseball has scouting bureau has videos of players and their 60 times and their base running times and their batting practice and their in game and then you know, throws and defense, all these different things, right? And I watched him every day. Figure out why is he the first overall pick? Obvious athleticism, obvious catcher, but his swing. And I found watching that video specifically, not only gave me hope, but also I learned a lot from him. I've always had a great deal of respect for him. It was, you know, you, you and he played together. Of course, I'd, I'd tune in and watch you two hit together. You know, I got to watch back-to-back -back most valuable players. I got to watch two of the best players in the American League play together. I had seen he just got his 2,000th hit, so that's a big deal. Up the middle and through, and the hometown kid reaches his milestone at home. Who would you rather see first? The Leafs win championship or the Raptors win a championship? I'd like to see Larry Walker in the Hall of Fame. How about that? It'd be, you know, we got Fergie. It'd be nice to get a position player Hall of Famer. I'll be honest with you, I would much rather see the Raptors, you know, go deep in the playoffs and win a championship than, than the Leafs. But I wasn't raised in hockey. I watched the very first Raptors game, and it was like, like a gift from the gods, man. I was a basketball fan, and all of a sudden, an NBA team landed in my city, and you know, I got to watch it. I was like, I'm all in. So, you know, I have season tickets. 
so I'm clearly a supporter. I hope that ends up being a coming about this year. They're a very good team. I hope also that we play the Twins in the World Series not too long. I'd like that a lot. It'd be nice to come back here and say hello in front of a bunch of fans. What do you think about that? I'll be, I'd take it. I think everybody around here would take Ooh, it. Oh, man, that'd be good. It'd be cold as hell, and I'd be as happy as it can be, you know? It would be outstanding. What a beautiful stadium.